I'm going to try to show you a little bit of how to deal with um, sequences, which, uh, honestly, I, I always just type SEQ. I don't even know where they keep them. Pro I'm thinking that they're in statistics and then lists. Nope. List ops. There you go. Sequence. Okay, the way a sequence works is um, you give it a formula, so maybe uh, 3x plus 5, comma, and then uh, x, because that's the variable in the sequence, and then uh, where you want to start, so 1, and... Uh, where you want to stop, so let's say 8. And what it does is it takes uh, all the values from 1 to 8. By default, it counts by 1 um, and plugs them in. Uh, that's actually, It's optional to uh, tell it what to count by, to go by 0.5s. And then it counts by 0.5s. But it defaults to 1, which is usually what you want. Um, so, I mean, there's any number of things you can do with sequences. Um, one of them is I can evaluate, let's say, a trig function. So sine of x such that, uh, and then such that, remember, is control equals, and then one to the left takes you down there, such that, and let's say x equals, and then I'm gonna type seq, because it's a little faster, um, pi, uh, pi, there's the key, don't forget, uh, pi over, let's, I'll just do pi over six times n, comma, n, because that's the uh, variable this time, uh, comma, and I want to go from uh, 1 to 12. And you should get some familiar looking values if you do that. So what I'm getting here is, uh, this is the the sine of pi over 6, the sine of pi over 3, the sine of pi over 2, because it's um, pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, 4, 5, and so on. Um, this all came up because we were doing uh, rational functions. So x squared plus 5 over, I don't know, 5 minus... 3x squared, and what we wanted to do was evaluate it at a couple of values, so such that, and then x equals the sequence, and what I did was um, 10, I put a decimal so that it would give me a decimal answer, like forcing it to be a decimal, rather than doing control enter. Always, if you put a decimal in, you get a decimal back um, to the n, and I want n to go from uh, 1 to, let's just say, uh, 9. So it's going to evaluate at uh, powers of 10 uh, and give me some decimals back. So then I can investigate this. I see that uh, the numbers are getting closer and closer to uh, negative one-third, which I would expect. Um, one thing I'll show you if you have the uh, cache available to you is in the bottom row, there's a template that says limit. Remember we talked about how this is actually a limit. So it's limit as x. And then we want the limit as x approaches infinity. Infinity is uh, in by pi again. So infinity, tab, that's optional right here, this uh, kind of grayish box. Uh, skip it for now. Later in the year it'll mean more. Um, tab, now I want to put the function, so you go up and get that, and I put it down there. When I press enter, it just evaluates it for me, so that's certainly something if you have a calculator available to you that you can uh, take a look at. And uh, I, I kind of feel like that's all I really need to tell you about sequences right now, um, so I hope you find that helpful. Good luck.